Manifit and Kuma student at Nova Pioneer. Hi, I'm Cindy Mulgure from Nova Pioneer for Mans. We'll be talking about the Kilimanjaro for the kids. And Cindy, what was your project on Saturday? Because it was a very nice one. We'd like to know more about that. Oh, thank you, Manifit. So our project was called Sphinx. And the major problem that we're trying to eradicate is board of the class, which many students face. Um, so um, the solution is making an app called Sphinx, which is an educational gaming app that provides a series of simulations that can be able to prevent boredom in class for the students. And what about you? Um, ours is not an app, it's just a project and it's about making solar panels driven cars. This is because we saw that the main problem in our world today is global warming and we are trying to eradicate that problem and also air pollution. Hi. I'm Ryan Nako. I am the founder of the Artificial Intelligence Organization. I, and together with my team, have begun to create seamless integration between artificial intelligence and virtual reality, bringing forth Marina VR. Marina VR is a system that is seeking to help solve homesickness, drug abuse, and pornography addiction. So, hi, I'm Austin Karanja, and my project is Kiko. Kiko basically seeks to solve the issue of checking and check out in institutions, especially in Nova Pioneer for starters. So we are doing this using radio frequency identification, which involves the parent having a card and the student having one. So this, um, the student interaction event on Saturday was really beneficial to us, our team, because we managed to get a lot of feedback from our fellow students and even parents and some representatives from various companies and it got a lot of suggestions on how to improve our app. Saturday for me was actually my mom. I was able to actually pitch that to actually pitch Marina. I was able to release her minimum viable product and she actually got to be it was a step closer to what we wanted to achieve. Um, we saw that our parents and our teachers and everyone around us would be there with us, they'll support us. And by this support, you see that you are able to do more things and therefore you should not be afraid. So, tell us about Kilimanjaro for the kids. So, actually, I'm really happy about this project that our school is guiding, doing for us. Um, so, Kilimanjaro for the kids is mostly a fundraiser to raise funds to um, improve our STEM initiatives in our school. And I think um, that the goal is to raise about 10 million, 10 million shillings. And this money could be able to provide us with enough capital to make a prototype of our app and even hire enough programmers and coders to make it an actual company. This money can also be able to initiate facilities for STEM, for example, the makerspace. And in the makerspace, we can be able to make our prototype of our project. And from there, we can see our head on from that prototype. Um, I think that this project is very wonderful because one of our culture principles is greater together. And by this project, we are able to come together to raise funds for STEM initiatives in our school. Therefore, I'd like to urge all of you to help us in this together because we are greater together.